guys and welcome back to another video of Pond World. Excuse the state I'm dressed in, but the first part of our build for the filter house. Just gonna flip it round. We've got the wife chugging away. <laughs> we just have to knock out a plant bed. So basically this plant bed we've knocked out was this corner here up to that fence post. All that has come out. We've got a ton of soil we've dug out because all this is ready for the new filter house for the Nexus 220 filter that's going in there. So we've made a start. We're about ready to make a finish. I hope they're going to be happy. But we're ready, more or less. We've just got to level that off so we can get a row of brick. Once we've got a row of brick in there, we can box that plant bed off and then we can sort out leveling all this off ready for the base to come in because so we've got to do 100 mil base that the filter's going to sit on and then obviously we filter house around it so yeah anybody make any recommendations that's best to level all this without having to dig please you can have. <laughs> we don't want to have to dig so for those that don't know this is what's going to go in its place so getting rid of the old box filter, I was going to go down the multi-bay filter route but I soon changed my mind when they're not really made for production anymore they don't really make, we tried to get in touch with Cotney Coy but they weren't really interested they said there's no market for them anymore so the company I went through before Cotney Coy offered me this for the same price so this Nexus 220 is going to go in there hence, because it's not covered up as well, hence why I want the filter house not just for that, because that was my plan anyway, to be fair. I'm going to put all my pond stuff in. So yeah, let's crack on. We've even got the boy, a little labourer. He's going to do some labouring for us. He's come to move all the bricks. Get him out of the way. It's hard work. That's a ton of soil, more or less, in that bag we've took out. So if you know anyone that wants it, comment below. It's all clay though, mind. <laughs> And then, and just so you know, the wall isn't always going to look like this. We're getting the brick split face tiles to go on like that, which will be the project after the filter's in place. It's all coming together. In it, boy? Yeah. Want a bit together. Right, I'm going to give you a quick update. Tidying up the garden now. It's about half eight on a Saturday night. I've covered it up because it's just started to rain but that plant bed is now completely out and we've actually done the wall and we'll just step over this we have to put this here to uh, stop the rabbit getting out so if I can just show you in there we now have the wall going all the way across it's that plant bed which was to here has now been halved which now gives me plenty of room for the Nexus to come in here. I need to get around it and to build my filter house around it as well. I just have to put this here for now because I do keep my air pump on there because my air pump's in there at the minute. My air pump used to be in there but I used to have an old garage. So when I knocked that down, of course, I had to take all the electrics out. My air pump had to come out. So my air pump was temporarily here. So I might put it in my new filter house or I might put it back in the new shed yet I don't know so fish that needs cleaning out as well to be fair but I'm gonna do that in the morning now I'm just gonna give the fish a bit of food still got a bit of uh, tidying up to do uh, this bunny boiler has been itching to come out all day he normally has free reign of the garden for those that don't follow the family vlogs obviously won't know but this is our pet rabbit whilst my daughter's pet rabbit we built this for him last year, Casper's Castle, and he normally has free reign in the garden. So if you don't watch the family vlogs, subscribe to the family vlogs, Sharpie's World, and you can see more of the bunny. But he's going to want to come out for a little bit, bless him. He's not used to being cooped up. We've got a ton of clay still to get rid of. So we're going to need a skip because we've got all the rubble just the other side of that fence. My right, guys, just want to give you another update. Another day, another weekend. It's now 
to level this off, ready to put the frame in for the base. Now, once the base is in, it's going to take another week to proper set, and then we can start. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Obviously, it's going to be a wooden clad and filter house, but I don't know if to do one or two courses of bricks across the bottom, obviously, to stop any sort of rising damp. I don't want to go as high as the pond because that's quite high. Um, yeah, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So maybe just a course of uh, like blocks like that just across the bottom, and then I can start building the wooden frame on top for the walls of the filter house. So it's going to come. Obviously, it's going to be about a two-inch gap on the shed wall, and it's going to come right across. I put these blocks in to stop the pebbles coming in because it's going to come to there, which is about just over four foot and then five foot that way, which will give me plenty of space. So once the filter's in here, I can still get this side. I can have shelving in there, put my air pump in there, and anything else that I need for the filter. So I book it some stuff, especially when I'm coming to clean it out. Um, so yeah, I've just got to just finish this little corner off. Although this goes that way anyway, so once the frame's in, which is square, that's going to miss all that. That's going to go to about there, because then that's square where it runs across and then this I can concrete path it get all these pebbles gone a lot of these stone though I'm going to put on the bottom before I put the concrete down get rid of this tap this is a tarpaulin there is holes in it obviously for drainage but I've got some nice membrane stuff I'm just going to put it down there to uh, to help so yeah it's coming on all right um, I've still got to go to Wix's and get the wood yet a bit worried because the wood has gone through the roof at the minute another reason I didn't want to completely wooden this because the cost of wood right now is whoosh, well high so yeah fish happy we fed this morning waiting for this box filter to go he's cleaning out again already because that water slowed down yeah a bit well chuffed all right another productive day Time for the San Miguel. Let's go and show you, I'm knackered. So, the frame is in, which is now level. A load of stone is down. I've got some membrane down, so it goes membrane, stone, which can now all be filled with concrete. I need to get a mixer. I'm not sure if I can do it all in the wheelbarrow. Depends on how much it will take, to be honest. So basically this is five foot, well, five foot by four foot-ish. Well, the main thing is it's square. It's well membrane down, stone on top, that'll help with drainage. And now we can, this is a hundred mil depth to all this. Obviously that's square, that's why it goes that way, because the fence does go out, and so does the pond wall to be fair. So this will then will be the base for the Nexus filter to sit on. And once the base is in place, I'm doing a course of block around the edge, only one course. Um, just so the wood isn't sitting on the concrete floor. Obviously it will rot over time and stuff, so and I can get some damp proof membrane on top of them blocks and then I can build the wooden frames up, the wooden walls up for the filter house. And I'm still obviously contemplating what to do about the door because I haven't got much room here for two doors to swing open. Um, so now I'm thinking, do one door here, because the, fil the filter's going to sit here anyway. So one door can sit there, open that way. I'm just going to stop at the corner of the wall and then I can just do a wooden wall here, which won't open. Because if I open a door there, so say it's about two and a half foot door, I can still get in around the filter, around here, because the filter's gonna take up a lot of this space anyway. But it means I can stand here, get inside, and, and we'll probably go as high as that there. So then the wall can slope down slightly for the rain to run off. Got it all planned in my head. Maybe I should have planned it on paper, but sort of make it up as you go along, don't you? I'm no expert. I'll just watch you guys on YouTube, to be fair. So yeah. 
as James the Koi Whisperer would say, thank you mother for the rabbits. We got rid of a lot of stone actually that I piled up, it's just this little corner here now, that's why I've got these blocks here so we can sort of contain it. Ah, so now it's the tidy up time, but I'm having this first, I need a break, plus these guys need feeding, it's getting on, waiting for the dinner. Tell you what, this lily is starting to come on good. Saw a couple of buds up there the other day. I think it's because of the pergola over the top and, doesn't, and it's quite shady. It doesn't get a lot of sun. So the flowers don't come up that often. Before I had the pergola, oh my god, the lily flowers are all over the place. And the wind keeps knocking these plants down, which doesn't help. So they all need to be tied up. I know you're all looking at me fish, I'll go and get you some food. <laughs> 